So I came to Dr. Nekoto back in, I think it was about 1989. And at the time I was having a lot of bladder problems and was being treated by uh, the doctors. They, I, they had me on antibiotics for over a year. The antibiotics were not only trying to help the bladder, but it was also um, causing me stomach problems. So now I have stomach problems and bladder problems. And they kept telling me, oh, it'll be okay, it'll be okay. I was getting pretty frustrated and was at that point where I was like, I just can't take this anymore. And um, I had met one of Dr. Nikito's um, other chiropractors at a conference that they had a table at and went and talked to them and found out they were kind of in my neck of the woods and that uh, they felt that they might be able to help me and so I started going and what was pretty amazing for me was that literally within about a week or two I mean it was a short time of getting some adjustments going in you know doing the x-rays and him saying yeah I think you know we could definitely help and going uh, coming in for a couple weeks I my bladder problem stopped and my stomach problems stopped. And um, so that was a pretty big miracle to me because the doctors, it kept just getting worse and worse and worse and they just kept wanting to give me more and more and more medicine for it. And of course being on antibiotics for a year isn't good for you either. And so that was kind of where I started with the clinic and I became a regular patient because Dr. Nikito's main focus is on trying to get you as aligned as you possibly can be and not, um, you know, not just treat the short term symptom, but to really try and get you in the best health that you can be. And, you know, he has classes that help teach you more about uh, your health and about your body. And I found those very helpful as well as at that point in time, I started reading a lot more and getting a lot more into alternatives to sometimes traditional medicine for things. So I was continuing to see Dr. Nikito um, on, a, on a regular basis at that time. And then a few years later, I ended up with what is called trigeminal neuralgia. I had, I've had a lot of TMJ problems, you know, which is, you know, the grinding of the jaw and, and, and that kind of thing. It can cause a lot of joint pain in your jaw. And I'd had a lot of problems with that for years. And by the way, his treatments were starting to help that too. But I was also having to do it in conjunction with some dental work, braces and that kind of thing. And um, I, I don't know for sure what caused it, but I started to get what's called trigeminal neuralgia, which is an inflammation of the nerve that goes up along the jawline and, and this kind of stuff. And it can be very painful. In fact, you can't think when you're in the throes of these kinds of episodes because the pain just shoots along here. It's they say it's actually one of, it's supposed to be one of the worst pains that you can have. It's just severe and um, it can last a while. I actually had it for a couple weeks before I really started asking Dr. Nikito if there was anything that he could do. And we started doing adjustments for the trigeminal neuralgia and um, started to get some relief from that. And I was doing a couple other things too. So one of the other things I have found helps a little bit with the pain is acupuncture. But the combination of chiropractic and acupuncture really helped. So I had about a two week bout then and it came back a couple other times. And then over the years, I've had it come back a few times. Now, not as severe as the first time. So I now know what to do because I've had it happen a few times and that is I get immediate chiropractic adjustments and let him know that that's going on with me so that he can treat me and check for that. And then I also do some acupuncture to help with the pain. And now I can get rid of it in a day or two um, at the most. And what's amazing about that is that if you read about trigeminal neuralgia, it's um, a chronic problem that starts with people and they often have frequent reoccurring episodes of it where it's like, I mean, it can be a life lifelong problem and people have actually killed themselves from the pain and the drugs that the doctors want to put you on in fact when I went to a doctor the first time I had this they wanted to put me on this one drug that is um, it's a anti um, convulsive drug and it's very dangerous if you read about the side effects if you read about what it does to you it's one of those drugs you go I don't want to be on that, you know, and it's very scary and they've, you know, proven that it can have long-term really detrimental effects, but people at that point in their lives are just looking for relief. So they'll do almost anything that the doctors will say because the pain is so severe. They can't live their lives very well. And I can definitely testify that the pain is very severe and most pain medications doesn't touch it. 
it's like it doesn't really get rid of it. So it's a very severe, painful um, problem and chiropractic um, helps it. And uh, it's, it, I know that Dr. Nikito has worked with some other um, patients that have had it and it's been very successful. So I, I like people to know about that. Cool. I like the approach of Dr. Nikito's office because, you know, again, it's not just to um, treat you short term, it's to really be there for even some longer term things. And it, it's another kind of healthcare pr practitioner that is concerned about your body but has sometimes different approaches. I can tell you that there's a lot of times that I've come in here with something going on and he's been able to help me um, very quickly deal with the issue and if I would have been going to a doctor a regular medical doctor they would have been probably giving me medicine or wanting to cut it out or do something like that and so I find that I tend to like to come here first if I've got an issue so that I can you know get some help on a more natural level first before I would go to uh, a, a physician if uh, if I needed to and so he's become a very important part of my health care and my daughter's health care. Um, she's been coming here since she was a, a young child also. And uh, I just, I can't imagine not having um, that kind of support in my life. So.